Hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Farming. Today, we are back with organic paddy farming, production and cultivation. Paddy plant is an annual warm season grass having flat leaves, round culms, and terminal panicles. Paddy is the world's most important food crop and dietary staple ahead of bananas, wheat, and corn. The main important rice growing states in India are Bihar, West Bengal, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Haryana, Assam, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, and Karnataka. Now, let's get into several types of rice varieties. Several types of rice varieties are consumed in our country, that is basmati, red, jasmine, parboiled, white, brown, and sticky rice. So, how to select seeds for organic paddy farming? To achieve better crop yield in the cultivation of paddy, using quality seed is an important factor. So, proper care has to be taken in choosing seeds of the best quality. Much of the success in raising healthy seedlings based on the quality of seeds. Seeds plan for sowing must satisfy the following requirements. The seed must be clean and free from obvious mixtures of other seeds. It must be mature, well-developed and plump in size. The seed must be free from obvious signs of age and bed storage. It must have a high germinating capacity. Now, let's get into organic soil preparation for paddy farming. In paddy cultivation, it is always good to study the nature, type, and nutrient content of the soil before adding nutrients. This entire activity can be done by having soil samples tested in a soil testing laboratory. A paddy needs to retain water well. Preferably, soil wants to include around 50% clay content and also soil underlain with an impervious harpen or clay pen helps to retain water. Top soil must be ideally 18 to 23 cm deep. Manure can be applied based on the potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus content of the soil. In paddy cultivation, the yield will be high when the pH level of the soil is between 5 and 6.5. If the pH level of the soil is below 5 or above 9, the yield will be poor. Alluvial soil, clay, and sandy clay soils are best suitable for paddy cultivation. Now, let's get into soil fertility management in organic paddy farming. In organic paddy cultivation, the application of chemical fertilizer is banned. It is suggested growers select a fertile land of cultivation. This early selection provides an advantage in maintaining leverage of quality and quantity. Moreover, growers must understand the proper soil maintenance and management of soil fertility for the sustainable production of organic paddy. The followings are the references of soil fertility management as follows. The first is no burning of remaining straws and tillers in addition to any other organic materials in the rice field. This will cause loss of beneficial microorganisms and organic matters. The second is, growers may apply organic matter into the rice field of soil improvement frequently. The third is, increase organic matters in soil by growing leguminous crops. The fourth is, the rice field will not be left idle after harvesting and before planting rice. The area must be covered with leguminous crops and others such as cowpea, jackbean or sword, Indian, hemp and sesbania restera. The fifth is, soil analysis must be done yearly, adjust the soil pH level to 5.5 to 6.5. In the case of high acidic soil, it is suggested to use marl or wood ash. The atmosphere contains around 78% nitrogen. In paddy cultivation, some of the microbes that are usually used for the purpose include phosphobacteria, azotobacter, and azospirillum. They are not only decrease the cultivation cost of using chemical fertilizers, but also increase the yield and fertility of the soil. Plant growth regulators are Panchagavya and Amirtha Karaisal. Now, let's see selection of seed in organic paddy farming. In paddy cultivation, seed selection always plays a major role. The seed selected for cultivation must be uniform in size, age, 
and free of contaminants, they must also have good germination capacity. Spacing requirement in organic paddy farming. For normal sown crops, the suggested spacing between rows is 20 to 22.5 cm. When sowing is delayed, a closer spacing of 15 to 18 cm must be adopted. The seed rate and seed treatment of organic paddy farming. For one acre of land, 8 kg seeds are sufficient for planting. Seed treatment helps to increase the germination potential, vigor, and resistance to disease and pest. Below are different methods of paddy seed treatment. First is soaking the seeds in water. The second is using cow dung solution. And third is using goat dung solution. The fourth is cow's urine solution. Let's get into process of planting in organic paddy farming. The water depth in paddy is increased as the rice seedlings grow and then slowly lowered in increments until the field is dry when the rice is ready to be harvested. In the growing season, sometimes the water is drained so the field can be weeded and soil aerated and then water is put back in. For several weeks, completely drain out the water from the paddy field and the soil around the rice is dry. In several places in India, rice is still harvested with a sickle and bundled into sheaves. Then, trash by cutting the top inch or so of the stalks with a knife and take away the grains by slapping the stalks over pop up boards. For a few days, separate them on large sheets and left to dry on the ground before being taken to the mill to be processed in several villages around the world farmers generally help each other to harvest their crops there are several types of harvesting machines available in at the market some mechanical rice transplanters and diesel powered rototiller tractors are available with harvesting attachments for harvesting paddy, large machines are not used because they cannot monocover around the paddy without messing them up. Large machines require long tracks of uniform land to do their job efficiently. Irrigation requirements for organic paddy farming. Paddy can grow in either a dry or wet setting. In global rice production, around 75% comes from irrigated rice systems because most rice varieties express their full yield potential when the water supply is sufficient. Especially in cooler areas, during the late spring, water functions as a heat holding medium and creates a much milder environment for rice growing. A pond can hold irrigation water to use in summer when water demand is the maximum. Now, let's get into the one of the most important topic that is organic nutrient management in paddy farming. In organic systems, nutrient management aims to enhance the use of on-farm resources and minimize losses. Several organic materials like vermicomposting, biogas slurry, farmyard manure, compost, green manures, crop residue, biofertilizer, and cover crops are valuable source of nutrients to improve the growth and yield attributes, yield nutrient uptake, and soil fertility and grain quality. Organic Pest and Disease Control in Paddy Farming The best principles used for pest control in production of organic paddy are Use paddy varieties resistant to insects, disease, and other pests and suitable to the particular rice growing area. Apply suitable cultural practices such as land preparation, seed rate, planting date of the season, and spacing. Crop rotation is must and should be cut life cycle of diseases, insects, and other pests. The maintenance of soil fertility and the balance of nutrient along with water management for better growth and healthy rice plants. Such cultural practices thus decrease the damage caused by insects, disease, and other pests. Manage the environmental setting of the field negative for pest infestation such as disposing of infected plant debris by using non-chemical treated sulfur powder and weeding. For managing the disease and pest control in paddy farming, grind 1 kg of garlic and dilute in 1 liter of kerosene. Keep it overnight and filter it. 
After that, mix in 200 liters of water and spray to control green leaf hopper and brown plant hopper. The second method is 4 kg of rhizome of Alpinia galandra plus 4 kg of neem leaves plus 4 kg of citronella grass is chopped and ground in mortar. After that, mix in 40 liter of water and leave it for a day. Dilute this solution with water at 1 is to 60 ratio to control leaf fodder and stem borer. Ducks are permitted inside the field after harvest of the crops. The ducks feed on insects and snails found on the boundary. Now, let's get into harvesting. The better quality and maximum quantity of paddy depend on the harvesting of the crop at the right maturity stage. Harvesting of paddy is the process of collecting the mature paddy crop from the field. Based on the variety, around 115 to 120 days after crop establishment, a paddy crop generally reaches maturity. Harvesting activity mainly contains cutting, stacking, handling, trashing, cleaning, and hauling. Best harvesting methods can help minimize grain damage, deterioration, and maximize grain yield. Harvesting can be performed mechanically or manually. Manual harvesting is common and involves cutting the paddy crop by using simple hand tools like knives and sickles. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to this channel and please ring the bell button to notify you whenever new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching.